This was Oren Fernandez, a leader from the Amerindian community indigenous to the South American nation of Guyana, pointing to the land his community has lost to the gold miners. Chinese Landing, one of Guyana's smallest Amerindian villages, is waging a monumental legal battle to retain ancestral land they say miners have raided and destroyed in their quest for gold. Orin passionately holds a map showing the land that the villagers have lost to the miners. Here, villagers used to mine that's in the mines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now they're taking over this whole area here. As we can see where we travel today, they're open roads, they're cutting out our trees in this area. According to a report by the Associated Press, a local businessman named Wayne Vieira and a Canadian company called Alario Gold Corp have been undertaking mid-scale mining operation in the village spanning 3,400 acres, splitting the village in two. Trees have been marked red with paint by the miners to mark the territory as theirs. Chinese Landing, which lies deep within the lush forests of northern Guyana, accessible primarily by riverboat, secured its land title in 1976. And for a couple of decades, Amerindians mined that area with basic tools, selling small pieces of gold to feed families and build homes, complementing earnings by hunting and growing crops. This was seen by many as a sustainable model of mining compared to the commercial mining that is now going on. Over the years, what we have been doing, you know, we have been the, the stewards of those forests, you know, just taking only what we need. And I think this is something that people need to understand as indigenous people. We take only what we need because we know we'll have to go back there to get more again. Um, there has been a change in terms of how, you know, people treat our forests because they go to the source of things and they take everything. After that, what happens? The community then entered into an agreement with the Guyana businessman Vieira seeking to set up mining operations in 1998, and ever since the deal went sour in the early 2000s, there have been legal battles over who can mine there, with Chinese landing residents currently shut out. Michael McGarrell, a map specialist from the Amerindian People's Association and a geographic information system specialist, also shows cartographic proof of the ancestral land the 225 residents of Chinese Landing have been forced out of. These are indigenous communities. And all the rest, like, and you can see how much is really covered. Yeah, and these are all mining concessions. Apart from allegedly forcing people out of their lands, the commercial mining activities in the area are also polluting the local water resources. Chinese Landing and other villages nearby rely on the Barama River, which, according to them, is extremely polluted now. The river serves as a vital source of water for the day-to-day -day activities of the villagers, such as cooking, drinking, and bathing. Residents such as Imelda Fernandez, a village elder and a miner herself, say that the river has become highly contaminated with mercury and has led children and elders to get frequently sick, including stomach aches and skin rashes. You see, we ha what, what we bathe in with? Dirty water. That's why night time we there saw. Oh, all the children scratching. Yes. The legal battle between the village residents and the miners is being closely watched by activists and Amerindian leaders who hope it might set a precedent for other conflicts involving indigenous lands.